Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my let's play of uh, Quest for Glory 1. Um, oopsie daisy. Uh, we did not have the best uh, beginning. So, uh, hopefully, um, hopefully, yeah, we, um, sort of at night on the first night is not, you don't want to be outside at night to begin with, and I did it on the first night, so we're going to be, um, things are going to be a little tricky for us. Uh, let's go to sleep, and I'll show you why. Um, sleep all night. We do not want to be wandering around. Yeah, Night God got you. While you were asleep, something decided to make a meal out of you. We're not sure what it was, but you don't really care at this point. You should go sleeping where the creatures of the night can get you. Yeah, so. Uh, sleeping outside, not the best thing you can do. Uh, da, 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 da. The night is still young. Oh boy. We still have so much ahead of us. Um. Let's change anything. Ah, yes, okay. I was wondering why it's a little uh, on the sluggish side. Alright. Alrighty. Oh, fuck's sake. I hate when that happens. Okay, we can't climb up there. We don't have a spell. We don't have anything. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow the fuck down there, dude. That's more reasonable. Um. So yeah, we are ever so mightily screwed. Oh, because we saw him really back there. It's sing a giant, you know. That's on there. Now there's a secret here. Um, we're actually I should say an urban legend, where uh, if you import a character from a later on game, because this is the VJ version. The, there was uh, actually an EJ version first. Now there's a secret where, uh, or an urban legend where, there's a flaming paladin sword waiting for you here if you import a character from a previous game. It's it's like a time travel thing or some, I don't know. I don't remember if that was ever confirmed or not. Um, yeah. Alright, so we are very much on danger. You know what, I feel like... We should just run through the forest at night, and that's why the bandits will get us. Actually, let's uh, let's stay and fight. Um, let's enchant our dagger. The weapon is magically charged. Um, right, face and fight. All right, there we go, folks. Uh, the battle system isn't the most. Uh, the greatest, especially at lower levels. Um, yeah, we kind of. Oh yeah, here we go, right to the jugular. Oh boy, we are starting to get tired. This is going to be very unpleasant. This is going to be a very unpleasant experience, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to try and find a safe spot to sleep and wait out the night. Um, yeah. I done goofed, folks. I went outside at night and now I can't get back into the village. Le oops. Hopefully we won't be encountering anyone else, but since it is night time, uh, not only are the encounter rates higher, they're more dangerous. So during the day, you're most likely just encounter just a couple goblins, nothing too dangerous. At night, there's brigands and cheetors and T-Rexes and all kinds of nasty uglies that will eat you alive, especially on your first night. So, yep. Uh, it's been ages since I played, but I do believe this is the entrance to the uh, bandit hideout. 
That should be a funny little thing over here. Bouncy blob, kind of. Yep. Um, as Nat recently learned, uh, playing Jayton's game, save often. Gee, that lock, uh, that rock looks suspicious. Let's not do that. That's not a thing we want to do. Um, Perry Dodge stuff, Pickbox throw. Oh, we don't even have any of that, right? Um, yeah, that's a glitch that just happened, but it's okay. Okay. Open sesame. Did you really need to do that? We're by the damn door. The spell is unlocked the lock on the rock, but it's not yet powerful enough to open the rock door. Okay. Alright, so we need to come back later. Um. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, um, spells here level up the more you use them. Um, you don't actually buy higher level spells. Like, like in a lot of games, like, you know, you buy Fireball 1, Fireball 2, Fireball 3. No. In this game, you just simply. Oh, crap. Run away, run away! We're running to our doom, by the way, folks. Um, yeah, we're about to get our ass filled with arrows by the brigands. Anyways, uh, you don't get Fireball 1, Fireball 2, Fireball 3. Um, you simply just get Fireball. And the more you use it, the more powerful it becomes. Yeah, spells here basically have their own experience bars, basically. So, you know, use Fireball 10 times, it'll do one more damage. Use it 20 more times, it'll do t two more damage. We sort of like that. Yeah. This place looks inviting. We could totally make it in here. Um, jump! Jump, I say! Over the log. Ha ha! Yeah, we do not have what it takes to beat all these bandits, but if you're a hero, uh, I mean hero by that, I mean a warrior, um, you can you can do this this way, but yeah, we, we can't handle them right now with our current... All we can do right now is zap our weapon, and our melee combat really, really sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Dryad. Um, she should be a safe, sleepy time uh, thingy. Yeah, you know, that's that's nodding her head right now because she knows they're being and what's playing. The words just don't come out right. Anyways, yeah, we're, I'm gonna go visit the our Dryad since she she is nearby, close enough, and she's uh, safe to sleep with. Hint, hint, wink, wink. That's something you don't get on her bad side, though. You can get on her bad side, and she can fuck you over. Not in that way, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do believe the fox told us to go talk to the dryad anyway, so... The large girl oak seems to draw your attention. Um... Yeah, let's talk to it. You better add all your strategy. The tree's mostly just speech. About more popular neighbors. Okay. <laughs> Her are pine for the fjords. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. What is this that we have? Piece of paper. All right. Um, I think the dryad is asleep. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, one water. Uh, let's go try giving Dryad some water. Alright, um, that did not work. Um, food? I think the Dryad is asleep. Or maybe you can only talk to her during the day. Alright, um, let's go ahead and save then. And sleepy sleep nappy time. Snares. Um, normally I wouldn't mind staying up all night and adventuring, but we are not even anywhere remotely close to being able to, um, 
You know you will sleep comfortably and well in this quiet and protected corner of the woods. Yeah, see, there you go. The Dryad is one of the few protected places outside of the town where you could sleep safely. Um, there's the Dryad. Uranus. Oh, I thought he was about to die for a second. I'm like, what? There's the Dryad. Uranus Peace. Um, Erasmus. You awake as the sun begins to rise. Ah, there she is. The tree one speaks. I am the Dryad, Keeper of the Woods. Are you one with the woods? Yes. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spore spinning Sporea to the north, that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Sorry about that, folks. Kind of outside my control. So. Thus, you will become a true friend of the forest. Nero. Hey, sexy. Well, whoopsie daisy. Alright, so she is not in the mood to talk to us. Um, we have just had a good night's sleep. So, let us go and do this item fetch quest for her. Literally, item fetch, because, um, I don't think we're gonna be able to, um, complete this quest, actually. Because, uh, the seed spitter, as you can imagine, spits seeds. It is quite obnoxious. So, but, um, generally with the mage, you have to get the, uh, oh lord, the fairy ring. Ah. Yes, um, this is one of the more humorous ways to die in the game. <laughs> Oh, Jeebus. Um, at night, though, that I seem to recall, at night, let's pick up a mushroom. What's the worst that can happen? You pick a handful of the small mushrooms and carefully put them away in your backpack. Let's get high on shrooms. Shall we? You and just a few of the mushrooms from the fair ring. They taste delicious. Do, 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 do. One mushroom is okay. Two ma oh wait, maybe even one mushroom is too much. Your sense gradu your sense of gradually turned to normal. Yeah, one mushroom is okay, folks. Two mm, that was interesting, but it would probably not be a good idea to repeat the experience. Let's look at repeat the experience. You just a few of the mushrooms. <laughs> I think you can see where this is gonna go, folks. Um this is one of those old school point and click adventures. They're notorious for uh, game over screens. Woody, hilarious game over screens. One mushroom is okay, two mushrooms is fine. Oh, two mushrooms is not fine. <laughs> Where did all the pretty horses go? <laughs> That's funny, I could have sworn I warned you about eating too many magic mushrooms. Your mind permanently warped, you die in a car with poke out of death. <laughs> oh boy. So yes, uh, old school game, old school game over is very, very unforgiving, although hilarious. Alright, uh, the magic mushrooms however will come in handy um, for other stuffs. So yeah. Alright, uh, let's continue back north to the seed spinner. That the dried wishes us to. Uh, wait, can we go here? Yes, yes, we can. The little dragon head means uh, processing, busy. So, yeah. Anyway, um, seed spitter, seed spitter, somewhere north. I do believe the Goblin Arena should be coming up relatively soonish. Or not. I haven't played this game in ages. I don't remember what's where anymore. Um, <clears throat> so yes, this game is a combination of point-click adventures and RPGs, so it's, it's an interesting mix. Ah, yes, there we go. The Goblin Arena. Uh, let us save. Save. Okay, um, not what we want to do. Let us zap our um, dagger. Oh look, there's an inconspicuous looking bush. 
I just go and wait for him to sneak up on us. And there's one more. Alright, Scooby Pal. Oh his nose! There's a goblin there? Really? I I never would have thunk it. Alright, uh by default this will um Yeah, as you can see goblins are a little easier to defeat than bandits. Um damn it. Yeah, there you go. See, they're easier to handle than bandits. Um, did I cast? There we go. Damn it! Ah. Yeah, our our guy isn't too um particularly um. Yeah, he's not he's not good at. Uh, we can't afford to spend uh spend our mana on um. Charging up. Damn it! I'm charging our weapon too much. Your magic is now mad. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it doesn't say it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just fight him here now. Why wait for him to sneak up on us? Um, the nice thing about the Goblin Arena is that it will always have goblins. It has. It never has a short supply of goblins. Like no, normally, you have to wait for one to just randomly show up, but the Goblin Arena will always have goblins. Oh yeah! Right in the face. Ooh, we're feisty today. We're getting most of our kills done. Ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. He threw the dead goblin all the way. Um... Yeah, we, we should take all the combat experience we can get right now because... As you can see, it starts off us on the magic screen, but we don't have any magic, so... Alright, so let's pick this guy clean. Do we have to look at him? The only good goblin is a dead goblin. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much this uh, loser had, shall we? You find five swords concealed in a pouch, you take the swords. Um, because of my previous blunders in a, um, because I decided to get drunk at the bar, we were uh, robbed. So this was our first and only five silvers of the game. Um, let's go ahead and save because I don't feel particularly comfortable here for too long. Uh, let's 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 face it. Um, I got lucky. Oh, see, there you go. Our uh, red means uh, it went up, or down, or one of those. Anyways, um, we have strength, more vitality, more magic, because we enchanted our dagger. Experience, stamina, and magic points. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and cast... Actually, no, let's, let's cast... Zap! Why, why'd you go here? Don't go here. Okay, just keep heading north for the seed spitter. And theoretically, um, directly north. I don't remember exactly where north. We should have got a meeps though. Oh, too far north. Oh. And this will be the fabled uh, Baba Yaga from uh, European lore. Baba Yara does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Yeah, so she is the fabled witch from European lore. She lives in the house, looks like a Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. I have went too far north, ladies and gentlemen. Lit oops. Um, large call the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. Uh, let's go ahead and talk. I won't let you in until we get a gem so I can see. Um, oopsie daisy. Ask about Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is the most powerful universe around. If you have any brains, you'll stay away from her. Ogres. You're some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. <laughs> Hut! 
Baba Yaga's hot tool squat if you say the rhyme. Rhyme! The hot tool squat if you say hot of the brown, now sit down. Deal! All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No! I don't need lonely glowing eyes, just open and close the gate, that's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you into the gate. Uh, yes, no, maybe so, what do you think folks? Let's take him up in his offer. All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. Okay, let's quickly save here. And speak to the hut. Ah, yes. So, anyways, yes, she is the fabled witch from European lore. Alright, so we <coughs> made a deal with the skeleton, but we still need to get a jump, so we'll come back here later. And talk that smart ass. Okay, um. North. So somewhere around here is the seed spitter and the meeps. But I don't remember exactly quite where. So we shall aimlessly wander about. Luckily it's daytime, so pretty much the only thing we're likely to encounter is just a goblin, and hopefully we'll get lucky again. Because, as you know, we are a magic caster, and um, magic casters don't do well at the beginning of the game too much. Uh, I, th I feel like we're, we've gone a bit too far north here. Although I can hear something loud. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We are, we are exactly where we need to be. Okay. Alright, uh, save. Alright, seed spitter. Uh, metal clearing, pine rocks. So basically we need to catch one of these seed spitters. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to open it. Yeah, okay. It has to be stronger to open them, at least. Okay. Um, the only other option we have right now is to throw a rock, but that's... Not particularly the greatest. Oh, let's try giving him some water. Nope, 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 hang on. Okay. Um, Alright, uh, let's actually talk to one. Nope. Nope, nope, okay. Alright, let's quickly... Come on. Oh, it's difficult. You look around for a place to climb. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do this. But we have zero climbing, so. But I thought I'd do this anyways. Um, yeah, it's you can only scramble, scramble against the cliff wall, but it looks like your climbing skill can stand some improvement, and by some improvement, a lot of improvement. Yes, yes, there is. There is a spell called Fetch, which we do not have yet. Um. I don't particularly want to throw rocks to flowers because we're trying to be the friend of the forest, so um I guess that's all we're gonna do here then folks. Um let's go ahead and save and depart elsewhere. Yes, neurotic saving folks. Neurotic. Alright, uh I feel like the game could go up a notch just a little bit. Alright, um Right, so let's let's go elsewhere. There is nothing we can do here for the time being. All right, um, I think we're heading towards the Cobalt Cave. We're actually Uranus Peace. Uh, let's head to Uranus Peace. That's that's a good place to be. Um, that's a good place you want to be at night. Or even during the daytime. Um, as the name suggests, it is very peaceful. I only hope we do not encounter any 
more troubles. All right, cross, cross your me. fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, quick jabs, quick jabs, quick jabs, quick. We are dangerously low on stamina. I. Alright, let's restore. Alright, and I think I'm gonna just call that part, folks, because people are gonna be coming down and stuff, so, um, yar.